Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and The Last Remnant Remastered New Game Plus Mystic Seal Only And I know what you're thinking Why Mystic Seal Only? Because I'm an idiot Let's make the game as difficult as possible So anyway, in today's episode what we are going to be doing is we're going to be exploring Mercado Castle and for that we need to speak to Paris. Of course you can. So just to be clear, all we are doing here, we're not actually going to be doing this side quest at this particular moment in time. We're just going to explore Mercado Castle and picking up another morsel. Opening up the treasure chest. Because even though this is a new game plus, I still want to get all the treasure chests and all the morsels. So, let us begin. suddenly realised I have not adjusted my team. Sorry, I was just, I was just looking at my phone, I got a message, sorry about that, for that delay. You know, I do not know why I come in here. I come in here every time I play the game, and there's, even though I know there's nothing in here. Okay, later. I mean, at some point, I'm going to have to... Oop, then I went into that one. I'm going to have to do some fighting to get my levels up with the Mystic Seal. I just don't know which ones I should do. Shall I try these? Shall we try these? Yes, let's try this one. Let's do this! Let's try this one. shall be facing me! So little damage. them from their flight! Our opponents are strong, as I hope. Uh -oh. right? Well, I think this is the game over. 
<laughs> Note to self. Don't pick fights in Mercado. Castle. Not yet, anyway. I should have known that by now. I should have known. But one thing I do know, I'm not going back in there because we know there's nothing in. Come on out! Okay, later. Run down this dead end. Miss me again. You'll have to be better than that. <laughs> Let's look in here. Nice bit of gold. Not that we need it. Good. I was supposed to be coming down here. I never, <laughs> I never ended up coming up here. What an id. What a total id. That's fine. Now, if this is your first time playing, this is where you get the map from. We'll pick that up while we're here. Come on out! Okay, later. You do need a vase fragment. It is a guild task. If you remember, uh, was it this place? Or, yes, it was. Where well, you could get them from the southwestern road. I showed you the dig point. This is also another place where you can get them from. Far easier than going in the southwestern road digging for them. And also lava fender. Check the map again. Let's turn around and go this way. Miss me. Now let me look. We've been. Have we been in this room? You know, I can't remember. Yes, I think we have, haven't we? Yes, we have, because it's that. Uh, yeah. Got a memory like a sieve. I believe. Oh no, there's that little room there to go in. Okay. Not a problemo. Fatal clock. There's no way am I taking you on. <laughs> Not in Mystic Seal. If I was doing a normal playthrough, I would definitely give it a go. Even at this low level. But in Mystic Seal got no chance. Absolutely no chance. Let's 
have a look here. We are going to that room there, picking up the morsel from down there, and then going up to that room there. That's what we're doing. gold no there is a rare which is like that vicious plant i can't remember the name it begins with a night image shell or something but again at this stage of the game trying to take on any rare and charlotte is through there this does have a, this does have another area but you can't get to it yet it becomes unlocked in another side quest. So we'll go pick up the morsel, which is down here. Come on out! Not here, but down there, the other shiny one down there. Okay, later. Come on out! Uh -huh. hmm? So that gives us 24 awesome. digs, I think. Okay, later. It does indeed means when we do need to go uh, farming for certain items for upgrading weapons and that it makes it a lot easier with having all the digs so there's nothing in there for us haha you missed me so We've explored uh, Mikado Castle as much as we can. So why am I going that way? Because I'm an idiot. So now what we're going to do Right. So what are we doing now? That's a good question. It's been a while since I've actually done this. Ah, I know where I'm going now. So glad I did that. We need to unlock the Great Sand Sea. And to do that, we have to speak to the barman in the pub. To the Great Sand Sea. Now this area has two exits. One will lead you to Vale of the Gods and one will lead you to Lava Fender. Oh, that's a rare. No, I'm not good enough yet. Not good enough. In Mystic Seal, it will destroy me, unfortunately. So while we're here, we're going to open up a few, uh, a couple of um, treasure chests, and we're going to pick up another morsel, which will give us 25, I think. I'm just going to sum this way. The morsel's in the... You know, I've just pointed with my thumb where it's going to be, like you can see. It's to, it's to the right. Over that way. <laughs> I can't believe I just gestured with my thumb as to where the morsel was. Oh, I swear I'm losing my mind, I swear. Oh. Going in the direction where we are now, that's where the morsel is over there. But we're going to come back to that. 
because we want to come round here first. <laughs> yeah, just gesture with your hands, because everybody can see what you're doing. Another nice chunk of gold. Now, later on in the game, there's a, a side quest, Flamello Tower. For that, you will need to come here into the Great Santee and walk between these rocks, mountains, whatever you want to call them. And as you get to around here, it will open up and it'll, boom, it'll come up. But that's a lot later in the game and you have to pick the quest up. So what we're going to do now is we are going to pick up the morsel. Let's just speed it up a bit. We'll be coming back here quite a few times. We've got a couple of quests. We've got uh, some rares, we've got components to get. So yes, get used to, the, to this desert, because you'll see quite a lot of it. And the marshal should be just where that grand beetle is, because it, there's always something on it. Come on out! There you go. Awesome! Okay, later. So that's two morsels we've picked up in this episode. Now I believe, I could be wrong, but I think this is the exit to lava vendor. Which also has a morsel. And it is. Well, I got it right, Mr. Jane. So we're going back in because we're going to go. We're going to open up a couple of treasure chests, pick up a weapon for uh, Toggle, I think, and open up Veil of the Gods. Where, if this is your first time playing, you will spend quite a, a bit of time farming gold. I don't need to, as you can see, with my new game plus. So now we are heading for the world map. I have already, uh, the uh, map of the area. I've already got it, as you can see. But again, if this is your first time playing, this is where you will get the map from. And components needed uh, for guild tasks, and for upgrading weapons. You will need four passion blooms, four mystic themed fangs or something like that. I'll show you where you get them from. You get them from the same dig point, if I'm honest. So here's the map. We have two more treasure chests to open. You can also get the passion blooms from there, that big point there, if you so desire. Know that by now. So we are looking for a treasure chest along here. It is just an upgrade of a formation we've already got, and it should be just. Past here, should be just along here. 
Ah, uh, that is. And now for the final treasure chest in this area. You might find that Pegasus will ask for that Wayfarer's Ward. So I'll just show you the dig point for the Passion Bloom and the Mystic Theme Fang. Now the Mystic Theme Fang can be tricky to get hold of, but hopefully we'll get them in the first attempt. We do have 25 digs at it all. Come on out! Hmm? Oh, landing sector carapace. Sorry, I got it wrong. That's what we got them first time. As you can see, I've got 14. I've got plenty of passion Okay, later. But you can get them here. Ah. Hmm? Don't worry if that strange liquid sprays you. Right. It's, it's, it's a charm. Awesome. <sighs> so, monsters will follow you, but they won't attack you. Look, see the heart there, so you don't have to worry about it. So let's open up the Veil of the Gods. What I'll do is I'll just nip into the... Nip? Yes, just nip. I'll just <laughs> nip into the Veil of the Gods to show you the dig point. I have done other videos which shows alternative dig points you can go to to farm gold, but this is the one most people use because it's so close to the entrance that you can just nip in and out very quickly. There we go, so I'll just show you where it is. And it is just here, this big point here. And you want this Letter of Remembrance, because that is a guild task later on. It's a cypher, sorry, later on. I'll just show you the dig point. You don't want them, but you okay, get loads of them. Later. You're looking for rough elven stones and... Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the other one? Alp stones. Sil no, silk stones. All right. right! Awesome! Rough elven stone and rough silk stones. That is what you are after. Get 99 of e these each. These are worth more. These are worth, I think, 400, I think they're worth. Something like that. We get 99 of each. And you'll get about 60,000 gold. And you will need it to recruit some of uh, the members for your party. Because some of them are really, really expensive. And I do mean expensive. So if it's your first playthrough, the chances are you'll be spending a lot of time there. There is an area over here to the right hand side of the map, Berichavalti or something, which is an area I sometimes use as an alternative to this because uh, it's further to travel but you can get better stuff for more money. You end up doing one lot. You get about 50 grand. Here you get average anywhere between 35 and 45 but if you stick there for the full 99 you still get thousands. Anyway, so we've explored the map. What are we doing next? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh yes, Lava Fender is what we'll be doing next. There is a morsel here in Lava Fender. We will be getting that. We will be uh, getting the treasure chests as well. But that will be for the next episode. I know this episode has just been exploring and opening up areas of the map and, and things like that. But, you know, I don't want to make the videos too long. So, if you've enjoyed, if you found this video informative, if you've been looking for morsels, you don't know where to get them from, now you know. 
Mercado Castle and the Great Sansi. You will get one in Lava Fender, which I will show you that one in the next video. So yes, if you've enjoyed this video and liked it and found it informative, please hit that like button. It really helps out this very small channel. If you have any questions about the game, leave them in the comment section and I will answer them for you. And even consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss a single episode. So, I hope I will see you in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. It really is appreciated.